Hello everybody, this is Eddie with Mobile Homestead Solar Services and I've been asked many times what kind of system I run on my camper. We can we call it our house, not our camper, but uh, we have um, right at um, 1K on our roof. We've got uh, six panels plus an external panel and it's pretty windy up here. I'll show you this real quick and then we'll go look at the internal of our solar system. This is the main battery compartment and electrical center and it's up underneath of our fifth wheel like a lot of people have it that have fifth wheels. It's a mess, it's a matrix. This isn't the way that I install other people's equipment but this is how I've done mine because I've made a series of mistakes and, and uh, add-ons. Um, we have, as I said before, we have about a kilowatt of power between seven panels, six on the roof. And if you look right over here, we got one turnout. We have two inverters, a 2000 watt nature power inverter. Someday I'm gonna switch that out and I'm gonna put uh, either a Simlix or a Magnum, but most likely a Simlix because I can't afford a Magnum right now. You look right up here. This is a 1500 watt uh, modified sine wave and I'll end up putting the uh, nature power in that place. I use it to run my tools and stuff like that, extra loads. We have two PWM controllers. Someday we might switch them out to MPPT controllers, but right now this TriStar 60 amp, I've got a, another one in a, in a different location that uh, is stacked with this unit and I started with this one and I added the other one on. Um, I've got a lot of extra stuff here we had from other setups that we had and, and grew this system. But right now we have two individual battery controls. We run twin battery banks. That's the reason I have two of these catastrophic fuses. One there and one there. So I can run both of my inverters off of both of the battery banks or I can individual each one of them. Here's my first battery bank. It's 450 amp hours of T105 RE batteries, wet cells. I made the box. If I, uh, if I knew about the plastic boxes when I built that one I might have actually ended up putting one of the, the uh, manufactured boxes in there. All right, I'll take you over and show you the other battery area. Okay, this is in my storage compartment. It is right behind the other battery box. And right there is the sister to the other controller. And I also have a battery box right here, and I'll uncover it. There you go, this is the other 450 amp hours of batteries. And I know it looks strange, it's in the side rail of the box uh, storage unit in our camper, but it was the only place I could put it because of that hydraulic pump that's in the way up front. So all together with this 450 bank and the other one, we have 900 amp hours of batteries and a kilowatt of solar. We'll go inside the house and I'll show you my controllers. Okay, here you go. Here is our monitors and controls. We have uh, just a small control on off switch for our inverter. The 1500 watt modified, I have to do that by hand because it doesn't have a remote. This here is our trimetric by Bogart. Um, this tells us how we're at 100% right now. It can tell you your voltage on both banks, your amperage going in or out of the bank. And back tells you we've got 100% in there. I also have two controllers, one for each one of my solar controllers, each TriStar. It can tell me a wealth of information. It can tell me um, the amp hours uh, that are going into the batteries, the voltage. Here I'll scroll down to log data. You can actually see the amp hours that we've gotten off this got 151.6 amp hours just off this one controller today. 
mainly just want to show you guys what I run. It's not exactly what I would put in every one of the campers. Ours is, as I said before, a series of mistakes and changes. And, and if I had to start fresh, it would be uh, a lot different than what we've got right now. But uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, so I wanted to show them what I have in ours and uh, what potential you can have with a solar system. You can run just about anything within reason um, on a solar system if it's sized correctly. Uh, you can actually live this way. We've been off plug except for one camp, one day in a campground. We've been off plug for three months now, or two and a half months, excuse me. So it can be done and you can enjoy yourself without having to worry about being plugged in all the time. This is Eddie with Mobile Homestead Solar Services. You have a nice day. God bless.